Well, it's been a local landmark and social hub since 1947, but if you want to go catch a film at Clova Cinema in Cloverdale, you had better hurry. After almost 70 years in operation, the theater will be closing its doors this summer for good. Here's Catherine Urquhart. Samantha Ledru carefully loads the film into an old projector, affectionately nicknamed Ethel. It's a lost art in today's digital world. Tonight's feature is Mr. Peabody and Sherman. It will be one of the last movies shown here at Clova Cinema. I was very sad when I found out. It was pretty devastating and pretty heartbreaking, but now the main thing that we're trying to do is just still remain part of the community and go out with a bang. The Clova Cinema opened back in 1947, and over the years, countless moviegoers have enjoyed their favorite flicks here. It seems everyone in Cloverdale can recall special times at this theater. When my husband and I were first dating, this was the only date night we could afford. So we'd come down to the Clova and share popcorn and uh, double feature. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, I've been to quite a few movies there. It's very, it's very comfortable, very nice place to come to. And you don't have to drive for miles, you know, to yeah. see a movie. <laughs> Changing technology was already a challenge for the Clova. As one of the few remaining film theaters, converting to digital would have cost tens of thousands of dollars. And more recently, the building's owner, a church, decided it has other plans for the property. Oh, it's really unfortunate. Uh, it's been here for so long, and uh, I've come here quite a bit, uh, more recently now uh, with the kids, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, they won't be able to have the same experiences that we did when we were growing up. Yeah, we're very, very sad. <laughs> These people are my family, and this is my home, and it's where I'm the happiest. And every day I'm like, wow, <laughs> it's really being taken away from me. There is some good news. The Clova will remain open until the end of the summer. Catherine Urquhart, Global News, Cloverdale.